Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let me show you the three things that you need to do to keep your Mac safe from malware. So to keep your Mac safe from malware, there are three things you need to do. First is you need to keep your Mac up to date. Second, you need to make sure you only download from sites that you trust. And third is you need to stay informed. So to keep your Mac up to date, the main thing you need to do is go to the Apple menu and use Software Update. And this will then check the Apple website for updates to Mac OS X and some of your core Mac applications. Now this should be going on automatically. You can check by going to System Preferences and then clicking on Software Update. And here you can see that it checks for updates weekly. You can change that to daily for even quicker updates and check off download updates automatically. Now Mac OS X Snow Leopard already includes the ability to check for and remove malware on your Mac. Now in order to do this it needs definitions for the malware. These are descriptions of what pieces of software are malware. Now the new security update that was out this week will check for the latest Trojans like say Mac Defender. So it's important that you have that security update. Now the security update will check daily for new definitions of malware. Matter of fact if you go in System Preferences to Security under General you'll see the item Automatically Update Safe Downloads list. And this as it describes right here will look daily on Apple's site for new types of malware to protect you against. Now the security patch is for Mac OS 10.6.7. If you have something even newer than that in the future then it would already include this security patch. Now it's not enough just to use software update because many of the applications you've downloaded would also need to check for updates. Sometimes these applications include their own ability to check for updates every time you run them. Other times you kind of have to go to the websites and check every once in a while to see if there's a new version. So the second thing is only download from sites you trust. For instance the Mac App Store or directly from developers like Adobe or Microsoft at their sites. Be sure you're actually downloading from the developer site. And if you don't know about the developer or the application just do a simple Google search for reviews of that site, that developer or that application and you'll quickly determine if there's anything bad about that software. It will be all over the internet. It's just good to do a check like that before downloading. And try to avoid BitTorrent. BitTorrent's great technology technology but for downloading software it's very difficult to determine exactly where the application is coming from. Also in Safari you want to go to Safari Preferences and under the General tab uncheck Open Safe Files after downloading. And this means that when you download something it will just go into your downloads folder and won't automatically perform any actions like opening or running. You will have to go to your downloads folder yourself and do that which is a good security measure. And the third thing is to keep informed. It's very easy because there are tons of websites that cover technology news and tons of them cover Apple news specifically. So pick your favorite one and follow the news there. You can see a list of some of the top news stories at MacMost.com and this would definitely include any new malware threats. You can also use technology like Twitter, Facebook, Podcasts, and RSS feeds to follow the news coming out of just about any of these different news sources. Now this may be annoying if you're not really interested in tech news. But it's important to stay informed. Otherwise it's kind of like driving without looking where you're going. There's malware out there and if you're going to be using the internet, downloading software, and connecting to networks you want to make sure you stay informed and keep an eye on what's ahead. Now there's a new section at MacMost.com, MacMost.com slash virus dash and dash malware. And this is where I'll keep things up to date about what threats are out there and how to protect yourself against them. So you may want to bookmark that as well. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.